A divine greetings to the 13 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the awesome fiery name of Abba Yahuwah, Elohim. This is the awesome fiery name that is above all names, eternal, not pork Jesus. No snake Allah is Yahuwah. Thank you, Abba. Not pork Jesus. Neither a snake Allah. But it's Yahuwah. The only everlasting name that is above every other name. That is above every other names. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It's Yahuwah, the only everlasting name. That is above every other names, princess. Truly love Yahuwah. It's okay. So much love Yahuwah. This temple is eternal bond with Yahuwah. The only saving name that is above every other name. Every other name, yes. Every other name. Not pork Jesus. Neither snake Allah. But it's Yahuwah, the only fiery name, and that is above every other name. Every other name, yes, eternal. Every other name forever. Eternal, yes, from everlasting to everlasting. He is the only true oxen name, and that is above every other name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 Sika yaba, orobo sika yaba, my maker. Orobo sika yaba, lover of my soul. Orobo sika yaba. Sika yaba, orobo sika yaba, yahua. Orobo sika yaba, love you so much, abe yahua. In the morning, I do. In the noon, I do. In the evening, I do. All night through, I do love you, my Abba. Everything, worship you. Every single thing, worship you. Because the new worship do you. Oh, I just love you. I just love you. Honestly, I do. Love you, Abba. Thank you, my Abba. Thank you for the power of resurrection. Mm, I love you so much. All right, now, family, Shabbat Shalom. Much love and much prosperity attend you, family, for you are the only reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near. Just as we see, the days goes by. So draw nigh the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach. Just as the Malak of Yehuwah saith unto Yehukana, the revelator, seal not the prophecies of this book, for the time is simply near. Exactly what we are doing here, family, the holy end times prophecies, signs, dreams in, preparing people like your body, like your house, like you, for the blessed returning of King Yahushua HaMashiach, our eternal bridegroom, to whom do eternally our worship, praise, honor, riches, power, glory, wealth. Yes, to the glory of his magnificent Abba Yahuwah, the Almighty, like I said before, is the Yahuwah. Not like him. Not before him, and not after him, and not like him. He is the Yud He Wahe. Yes, I hear, oh, we hear ye. And the beginning and the end. 
they are life and time to him eternal. Be all glory. He share, he share his glory with nobody. He don't share his praise. No. No. It is a taboo. He don't. And he won't share his praise worship service with no order. Not, not pork Jesus. Neither snake Allah. I just love you, Abba, for you for you are who you said you are. You are who you claim to be eternal. And nothing absolutely changes or changed that. Thank you, Abba, for giving me your set up uh, spirit. Ah, oh, now, yes. He, Thank you, Abba, for giving me your set apart world. Thank you for the power and the glory and the testimony of resurrection. Three days, three nights, mission completed. Bless your holy mighty name, Abba. Hallelujah. Yes, Abba Yahuwah, you have been worshipped, praised, loved, honored, saved, always, ever, eternal. Right in the temple of your eternal hermit, your very Isha, for you are my Abba, also my eternal husband. I just love you, Abba. Yes, you made me so. I love you so much. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, now, family, quickly, we want to do what we are here today. Today is good news. Yes, resurrection. Revelation chapter 5. One of the 24 elders said unto Yehokanai, the revelator, said, don't cry anymore. Okay, stop crying. For the lion of the tribe of Yehuda has, has prevailed. He is raising. Wipe your tears. It is time for jubilation. 2024 is prophetic. 2024, it is, a, is the year for Yahuwah to unravel. Yes, to open all those secret, secret, secret things. From him, also from the world power or world leaders. And also to, to also expose, yes, his opponents. That is the impersonator. All right, this 2024, <laughs> it is a glorious year for some and, and also a disastrous year for some. Hallelujah, just thank you, Abba. All right, now, family, without no delaying, let's do what we are here today. We want to talk about resurrection. Like we know already, title is going to help us navigate us into Holy Scriptures. Here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me, Shabbat Resurrection, Good News, Wednesday Crucifixion, the Only Messianic Sign, Matthew 12, 38 through 40, is Putti Cyrus, President Putti, is he Cyrus, King Cyrus? <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to be taking this one apart. It could be the very last day of the Feast of uh, Eleven Bread or Feast of Passover. So next week, Wednesday, is the finishing. Okay, it's the last great day. So maybe we're going to blend this up. King Cyrus is building. Yahuwah is building. Yerusalem is building. <laughs> Anyways, we'll leave this one for... Midst of the week subject, okay? We'll talk about the last day of the Feast of Tabana, excuse me, the Feast of Passover, and we'll blend it up with this very title, is President Putsi, King Cyrus. You know, there's no way, not, not that there's no way, of course, from the beginning, Abba Yahuwah has already included even some politicians into building of his temple. What has been before will be again. So we drop this one, okay? So let's work with what we have here for now. Should I read broadcast? Uh, Shabbat Resurrection. 
good news. Okay. Shabbat resurrection good news. Wednesday crucifixion, the only messianic sign. Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 through 40. His pretty Cyrus. Okay. So let's touch on why we are here today. All right now, First Corinthians chapter five, verses six through eight. Okay, this is the feast we know. Verses eight, or rather verses seven, or rather yeah, verses eight. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven. Okay, okay. So I, I don't want to read. Okay, let me read for F seven now. Push out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new loop, as ye as ye are on leaven, for even Mashiach, our pack silver is sacrificed for as i said therefore let us keep that feast so these are the feast we know okay we don't know easter goddess of fertilities is it our fertility is it our feast you know i see many people on their bad friday eating egg we, 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 oh, oh, no. anyways but is it is not our feast easter uh-uh our own is packed over and it's for eight days long, straight days, straight eight days long, okay? We don't have any madness of a, for a bad Friday and a Sunday early morning resurrection. No, we don't, Monday, we don't have that nonsense, okay? Our own is eight days. So this is Apostle Shehu, Apostle to the Gentiles, said, let us keep the feast, okay? So Exodus chapter 12, this is where the feast of Passover begin, uh, began. Leviticus 23, okay, verses 1 through 18, that is where Abiwa ins instructed us to always watch for this feast. He said, these are my feasts, okay? Daniel chapter 9, verse, yeah, verses 24 through 29, that is where Yahushua consummate or rather confirmed this very feast. Packs over, that is, he said, in the midst of the week. It's going to confirm this feast, which is today, which is Wednesday, crucifixion on Wednesday. Daniel prophesied it right from the, uh, the Exodus chapter 12. Lamb of Passover is always being slaughtered, midst of the week, Wednesday. Okay, that is the only way you can get resurrection, resurrection Shabbat. And that is why the impersonator, the very pork of Jesus, also said he was raising or he is raising on Sunday. You know, they are trying to imitate Abba Yahuwah because Yahushua set apart Shabbat for eternal rest, not just only for now. This very one we are seeing now is only for a shadow, but the better one is almost here. Okay, where well, we where we where all the elect will be, you know. A circle around Abba Yehovah for all eternity, worshiping him, doing nothing. All right. So, but this one is just a shadow of the better one to come. Epoch, Jesus now also said, I will make myself like the most high. Uh, so, he now also said, You raise on Sunday because you know they watch for Sunday, they worship him on Sunday. Okay. They gather together on Sunday. And Sunday is Jesus Christ's mandatory day whereby all his children set apart once we worship, fellowship with him. And also Sunday is a, a, a spiritual rest day, but there's no rest, no peace for the wicked, okay? Whereby all the demon legions of demons in the bottomless pit also circle around Poco Jesus Christ and his people physically, they're doing the worship together, both spiritually and physically. Like ours, Shabbat is the mandatory day whereby both angels and the elect of Abba Yahuwah comes together, worship Abba Yahuwah. Okay, it's a very special day. It is a very, very unique day. Okay, so they are imitating Yahushua. So that was why they also said their own now is tomorrow. You see how crooked and twisted these people has become. Big, 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 oh no, I don't know. Becomes or become whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, now, so, um, Danny, I quoted that already. He said, in the midst of the week, is going to confirm this very covenant of Pax over redemption and all that. He has so done that. So, quickly, let us read the um, um, Matthew, yes, chapter 12, verses 30, 38, the only messianic sign, okay, through 40. So, this is how crooked, twisted, devilish, 
this very organization called Christianity has become. Okay, they are so crooked. Okay, very very deceit, you know, deceitful. They planted theirs very close to ours. So Yahushua is their donor of Shabbat because he rested today. Genesis have that. He was the one who worked, not his father. Yahushua worked, do the works of creation. Uh, uh, what was that? Colossians, the Colossians chapter 1, yes. Also says so, that Yahushua did the works of creation. So he gave Shabbat as a rest eternal. He was the one who rested on the Shabbat. And is the Adonai of Shabbat. And definitely cannot do it any other way or any other day. Sunday simply means to work. Okay? We don't, though we don't call it Sunday, it is simply the first day of the week. It is simply working time. How can somebody is bringing about ministry rest, bringing about renovation of rest eternal? How can he do it on Sunday? Or first day of the week. First day of the week is seriously walking. Come on now. But on the Shabbat, he rested. He entered his glory on the Shabbat. In his throne of eternal rest, he entered on the Shabbat. In Lakmana. So he cannot resurrect any other day. The only messianic sign, Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 through 40. Let's quickly rush, of, rush that one through. And the setting of the scribes and the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we won't see a sign from thee. We want to see. Since you are claiming you are you are you are the awaited Messiah, you are the prophesied Messiah. Okay, now come and give us some sign. We want to see. 39. But he answered and said unto them, An evil, an evil and adulterous generation seeked after a sign. And there and there shall no, and there shall no sign. Be given to it by the sign of the prophet Jonah. Listen, uh, for as the uh, for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The heart of the earth, we are grave. Open the grave, he was there for him three days. And be reading the gospel of Nicodemus. I, I, I won't, uh, there's no chance to do that today. Now, what are we saying? Jonah chapter 2. You can go and read that in your quiet time. So, what happened? All of us today, because Yahushua point us back to Jonah. So, that's who we, who, who we are. Jo we are all Jonah in either way. Because it's the sign. Yahushua didn't give us no other sign. But he said we should look up to Jonah. You want to know who is the true Messiah? Look unto Jonah. Study the life of Jonah. Look into Jonah and what happened over there. So let's go to Jonah now. Chapter 2. Should I be reading? Okay, now let me quote it. Jonah was in the belly of fish. What put him there? Disobedient. So we are all Jonas today. Disobedient. Abba sent him an error. And so go on. And say, go and do so so thing for me in Nineveh. Jonah ran away. He said, no, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. Just like the folly deities ran away. Abba Yawa said, Poku Jesus, by day was, you know, seraphic, powerful, good-looking angel. Uh, no, not seraphic, cherubim. And uh, Allah was seraphim, the most powerful. Okay. But, oh, you also see that in Genesis 3, that uh, is more subtle, so clever, more powerful. Okay. is stronger, powerful than men. All right now, Genesis 3, you can get that over there. Now, Abiyawa gave them a message and say, This earth, walk it, keep it under my instruction. They said, No, we're not going to be doing that. Rather, we want to do our own. Okay. Now, Jonah, go and do the will of Abiyawa. Jonah said, Uh uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I want to I wanna just do my own thing. Okay. Now, what happened? Yahushua point, point us back now to Jonah. We want to know what is the meaning of crucifixion, the only sign. Just go to Jonah. So, who was Jonah? In that aspect, he rebelled. All right, now, he disobeyed Abba Yahuwah. Like you and I today, 
but by his grace, I'm out. I'm repented just like Jonah did. But unfortunately, the folly deities, the seraphims and the cherubims that fell from glory, they were never, they, that kind of privilege, we are never been given unto them to repent because they knew Abba Yahuwah face to face. So they don't have, they, they shouldn't have been doing that all right now. But you and I have that great privilege to put our house in order just like Jonah uh, did. So Yahushua said we should put ourselves, now we should look into Jonah. Abba Yahuwah sent every one of us here on earth uh, an errand. Go and do such a thing for me on earth. But when we came here, we now begin to do our own thing. Okay, we neglected that of Abba Yahuwah. So what happens? So what is the repercussion of that? We all got swallow by a unclean fish. I'm going to be putting it in this aspect. It could be snake. I can also say snake. Yes, we are all in the belly of snake, but I'm hot. But I'm simply out. How? Because I repented just like Jonah did. Repentance is what is needed. We all now, over these 2,000 years, because Yahushua did it before, but again, the serpent came, you know, swallow every one of us again. We are all in the belly of serpent, believe it or not. That is your problem. Okay? Because Jonah disobeyed, you are not better off than Jonah. You are not better than Jonah. And Jonah disobeyed. I bet you did not let him go unpunished. Rather, he handled him, throw him inside the sea, put him in the, in the belly of animal and say, remain there. Until you do my will, are not coming out. In like manner, every one of us, do you, do you know how suffocating is this? I saw the other day when a snake swallowed somebody, cobra. He got that person killed. When a snake, I also saw it online, social media platform, he also swallowed a baby of two years. He suffocated that baby. So, if you are not repenting like Jonah, you will never get out from the belly of serpent. You won't, by no means. Jesus can bring you out. Allah can't bring you out. Only Yahuwah. Now, that is how it goes to Revelation chapter 20, verses 10 through 15. You're going to see over the lot of things now begin to bring out every human being in them. He commanded the sea to, to bring out the people he kept. He commanded the Hades to bring out, that is the grave, the people he kept. Why, why, why should the sea also swallow people? Yes, it is the snake, the dragon, okay, the Leviathan inside the sea swallow 92% of, of the world population. It's a sign. Yahushua said, we should look unto Jonah. So you want to come out from the belly of the dragon serpent? You got to repent. That is the sign of three days and three and six days is to remake you. Simply remake you. Okay, simply remake it. So we quickly, I quickly chip that in. Matthew chapter 17, and he said the fish, this one is a good fish, okay, because I bet you one know already Jonah, in fact, I can say the light is also being swallowed by the fish of Jonah, because it's a miracle, okay. Why the day that will not repel like Judas, they will be swallowed by snake. Hmm. Yes, it could be so. <laughs> but there's something but the dry go. Or it's possible every one of us wants to be swallowed. Of course, it's snake that swallow every one of us. But through your obedience inside the belly of snake, how about your one will command him to pour you out right away? You don't have the right to hold he or she bad. You know, it's an accuser. It's going to be accusing when you don't repent genuinely. Sorry. He won't pour you out. He's a lawyer and he, he knows he's right. He, that guy always use his right in a very fair way. You are not repenting. You are still keeping bad Friday and you are not keeping nonsense Sunday. Sorry, you are not coming out from the belly of, of the snake that swallowed you, that got you swallowed. No, you are not coming out. Until the day of judgment, Revelation 20, verses 10 through 15, Abba Yawa will not say, you know, vomit them out, including you yourself, to face judgment. That is the white judgment throne. Okay, now Matthew 17, verses 22 through 27, we see that is the same fish that gave 
money because it's a miracle is about you and me salvation where the temple tax must be paid everyone in the holy land must pay temple tax once in a lifetime and i also see that parallel not parallel impersonator allah also said uh, those in the, uh, the the islam must also visit mecca once in their lifetime to do what to go and kiss the black stone that look like carved like a woman's vagina okay once in your lifetime According to Allah, they, 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 they must do that. That is why you see that when they go to Mecca and the day of Ajah, they will be kissing the black stone. It is the commandment of Allah. Now we have that structure right from right from the beginning in the new in the Old Testament. That I think that should be Exodus chapter 10, 30. Temple tax. You must to pay your temple tax. Okay. You must to pay your temple. Did I let me see if it is written here? If not, it, yeah, it should be maybe Exodus chapter 30. I think so. Temple test. So now, Yahushua needs to pay. He's fulfilling the law, isn't it? And all his apostles must to pay once in a lifetime. Okay, now Yahushua now said, okay, go to the fish. Jonah fish is still there. It's about redemption, okay? And command and just do it like this and do it like that. You're going to see money. That is miraculous. And it was so. Okay, so because... We got swallowed or resurrection or repent or repentance. That's simply me. Miracle because I was once this, like me now, once a prostitute now, 23 old years, no sexual intercourse. 23 old years, 23 old years, February this year, 2024. I celebrated my 22 whole years, no sexual immorality. And this was once a prostitute. That is a miracle, isn't it? Of course, to me, it is a mighty hand of wonders. I don't know how you see it. Hmm? But to me, it will forever be a wonder in my soul. Because it's not... I <laughs> Born again, utterly. Nothing of such in the heart. You don't even feel it. You don't even know if such life exists. You don't even see it at all. Oh, no, that is wonders, okay? Now, what else I wanted to quote? Mm, yeah. Matthew chapter 7, verses um, mm, 9 through 11. Abayawa said, Abayawa said, we know fish is a miracle, okay? Abayawa said, which one of you, though you are evil, your son will ask for fish? Or your son will ask for the bread and fish. You will not go and give a stone and snake. <laughs> a snake. You're gonna be giving snake. You're gonna be spreading snake for your son in 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 place of fish. So fish is a miracle. Okay. Now that stone over there is talking about the folly deities again. Okay, Yahushua is, is the chief corner stone, and we are the stone, spiritual stone to build the spiritual house. Yahushua is the chief corner stone. All these holy deities, Pork, Jesus, Nick, Allah, of course, they are also uh, stone. And see what that stone is doing, because you are in their belly now. Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. You're going to be using that stone now to be cutting yourself. How are you using stone to cut yourself? Now, how are you using the folly deities to destroy your own life? Number one, you agree with them. Number two, you refuse to repent. And number three, you begin to take their teachings into yourself. Of course, that is what you live for. Of course, that is how you grow your spirit. That, that is how you grow spiritually. That is where you type your energy from. Yes, that is the you know, that is the power in you. Oh, your spiritual, you know, whatever, you know, uh, spiritual uh, progress. You you get that notion from serpent. And that was simply me destroying your own self with the, the folly stones. They are folly stones. They are uh, used stones. It's, it, it can never be used to build a home. Only the unused stone, unused stone, yeah, stone that is not folly. That is, that is not caught. That is a holy one. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, where is the other part? I just want to talk, okay? Psalm 91 verses 11 through 13. Th that is also the stone over there. Whereby it said, Abba Yehua said, I'm going to give my angel in charge of you. Remember the same pen, the of Jesus, because they know they are the stone. I'm going to give my angel, angel, angels in charge of you so that you don't dash your feet against stone. Why? Because they are falling already. They watch your feet. What is your feet? That you shouldn't be using your feet now to hit them. 
that is crying on the ground. Remember Genesis 3 says, your belly, thou shalt go. They are crawl because before snake does, they don't crawl. They fly. Before they don't crawl on the ground, only the cost one. They still holy snake anyways. But this cost one, they crawl with their belly. So that you, you shouldn't use your whole feet to hit them. So what is your feet? Your feet simply means stand and roll. Daniel chapter 10 verses 3 said that when this mighty king, king, uh, king come, he's going to stand on his feet and rule. Okay. Matthew 24, we also see, he said, when you see the abominations of desolation standing in the holy city, roll for your life. Standing simply means to roast by your feet. Okay, that is what it means. That is spiritual idiom. Feet simply means stand and rule. Okay, now so that devil will not stop your reigns. So that serpent will not stop your reign. So that instead of you crushing the head of the serpent, you're going to be giving them your own you know, a uh, rings, a uh, rainy power. I think it's uh, uh, Re Romans chapter 16. I forgot the verse. What are 20? It said the Yahuwah of glory is going to very soon, it's going to cross the, cross the head of serpent under our feet. Yes, that is how it works over here. So that uh, you will be dancing like I'm dancing on the head of the most powerful angel, but fair from glory, Allah. Another most powerful. Fair from glory, Jesus. I'm dancing on their head and they can never bite my feet. Now, I will rule over them because through the resurrection of Yahushua, I'm ruling over them. You know, remember I said the seed of the serpent is going to bite the heel of Yahushua. Simply mean it's going to stop his heel not to rule. And they, that is what that's what Bad Friday is. That's what Easter is. Instead of you celebrating the raising king, now you are celebrating nonsense that never is and never. The only day he's going to be raised is to face judgment. That is Revelation again, chapter 20, verses 10 through 50. Simply to face the white judgment throne. That is the only day he's going to be raised. I celebrated the, 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 the Jesus that fall, fell already. I see Jesus fall from heaven. Huh? A thing that is already you know, been knocked down, you are, you are still erecting it. That is how you are cutting yourself with the stone. They are the stone in your hand. Ecclesiastic chapter 1 verses 9 said, What has been before will be again. What has been done before will be done again for there is nothing new under the heaven. Okay? So exactly what took place the, back, back, in the, back in the days, that is what we are also seeing here today. In fact, this time more devilish, okay? More devilish. Now, okay, I quoted that already, Ecclesiastes. Revelation 12, verses 9, said that this very devil deceived the entire world. Okay, I think I'm going to be reading that. I just want to do it lightly because I'll be hitting on this, hitting on this, hitting on, on this, year after year, year after year, year after year, I'll be doing it. So today I'm taking it very lightly, okay, because it is resurrection. Uh, Revelation chapter uh, 12, verses 9. Listen now. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. Are you getting a glimpse? Old serpent. Where? Yeah. Genesis 3. Called the devil and said that they are all together. The devil is Poco Jesus. And the dragon is the, is the, is the most powerful angel. The seraphims. This one almost got the attribute of Abba Yehwa. Seraphim simply mean the fiery ones. Yes, the bony ones. Now, that is plural. So when now come to seraph, seraph, seraph simply mean the fiery fly snake. Okay, the fiery fly serpent. But in plural, simply mean the bony ones. In singular, the fiery fly snake. Serpent, okay, they normally fly. If I the holy ones, they fly, but the unholy, they are crying on the ground because they, they are they already been cursed by, by Yahuwah. Why the devil or the Satan is the cherubims, the covering angels, covering angels, uh, like Pork Jesus before should have been the light of the world to cover the to, to illuminate the entire world with light. They are the covering angels. Okay, they are the one that that is covering Abayawa's feet 
in the seventh heaven. And the seraphim is the one covering Abayawa's head. That is how he, you know, he designed and decorated his kingdom. And you don't have no right to ask or to question, why are you covering yourself? Or why are you, why are you using all this bodyguard? Is it your problem? Are you the owner of the heavy? Are you the owner of the earth? Are you the owner of yourself? He designed his life like that. So we don't have the right to question it. That is how he wants it. He has bodyguards. These should have been bodyguards. They are not guarding. Guard. No, when you are also using bodyguards, no Christian pastors, so they are using because they don't want us to stone them. Okay, like if Yahushua comes now, you think he's going to be walking on the street like that? No, people is going to suffocate him. People is going to fall on him. People is going to jump on him. They will suffocate him. For to for that not to happen, he's going to be having bodyguards. Not for that to guide him from Amraba or from uh, people not to stone him or from people not to kill. Not not that. That isn't the quite. That that isn't the reason. The reason is that to put every other process in order for them not to jump on him. No, he don't want that. He don't want that. He just want to put everything in order. He want to do things accordingly. So Yahushua will come definitely. He's gonna be having serious bodyguards. No men, no early ones. The cherubims. That is their job. To, to, to guide him. Not to guide it from, you know, destruction or from harm or from anything. No. To prevent you and me not to jump on him. Not to suffocate him. If Yahushua come, him alone will be... Everybody is going to rush him one time. So that is the main reason of his own body guides. So with this being said, let's go back to Revelation chapter 9 and see what they did to the entire world. Where is it now? Okay, and the, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and uh, Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Who are his angels? It's all these pastors. They are fallen angels. And again, high rank, no, 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 that is... Uh, um, mm, 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 uh, what is it being called? Ike angels, those are demons, so they're also fair. About four categories, or no, five group of angels fell. Number one, the seraphims, you will see them in Isaiah chapter six. Number two, the cherubims, you will see them in Exodus, Exodus chapter 21. You will see that the covering angel, and when you also go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 29, verses uh, uh, 11 through uh, no, I'm not sure, is it 15? Ezekiel 29, if not 28, 29. Okay, you're gonna see the covering cherub. Okay, let me be sure since we are here now. I want to let you know the categories of angels that fell from glory, mm -hmm. and today you are worshiping them or demons. And Jesus is the, is the leader of all those uh, demons. Ezekiel 20, let me see, 29, first verses. Um, okay, 29 verses 3, the, the red dragon is over there. Uh, yes, the king of Pharaoh. Yeah, the authority of Pharaoh. It says, speak, I say, those says, okay, those says, Yahuwah, behold, I'm against you. Pharaoh, they are the king of Egypt, the gray the great dragon. <laughs> okay, now. So it should be 28. Now it's good I come here. It is Ezekiel chapter 28. Now let me be sure of the verse. They were, yes, verses 11. Okay, verses 11 through where? Through 19. Yes, absolutely. Through 19. It's good I, I come here. Okay, to cross track. To cross track. All right, now. Now, that is another angel. The second high ranking angels that fell from glory today is Pope Jesus. And the third one are the uh the four living creator or creature, excuse me, not creator, four living creature. Those are the third ranking angels in heaven. They also fell. You're gonna see the holy ones in the Revelation chapter um, four. Okay, now the fourth ranking angel that fell, the archangels. Like unto Michael, like like unto Havrel, like unto uh Uriel, 
Yes, you will see the, uh, that in the, okay, yes, Revelation chapter 12, verse 7, you're going to see Michael, that is high ranking angel, Ike angels, they be called Ike angels, so that is the fourth ranking angels in heaven, so now the 51 is the multitude of angels that worship, okay, so that was why, when you read some place, we'll be saying, devil fell with, with his angels, so these angels, it goes for two groups of people. The Ike angels, no, since here, yeah, the Ike angels, they are the demon today, the witches and wizards you are seeing. So this angel is speaking on the uh, pastors, liars, deceivers, false prophets. They are all angels, but they are fail. They, they, are, they are fully angels. If you go to Matthew chapter 25, verses 41, it says fire has already been prepared for the devil, also for the for and um, and for his angels okay so those are the ranking angels that fell from glory there are five in numbers all right now with this being said genesis chapter 3 you're gonna see it over there now let's do proceed now get deeper a little bit i have just space few space few minutes to go now now i want to read romans <clears throat> romans chapter 11 Oh, I should have okay. I have to fast because the reason why we, we need to be raised on the Shabbat, we must be raised on the Shabbat. We must get this glorified body on the Shabbat. No other day, no, because our Adonai God is somewhere, is already. So when it comes, we don't know what we're gonna look like. But when it comes, gonna look we're gonna be like him. That is uh, first John chapter three, verses two. We're just gonna be like him, we're gonna look like him, we're gonna be like him, glorified glorified body. Okay. So in like when if he raised on the Shabbat, that is when we're also gonna be raised but 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 according to the royal law. So we're gonna quickly rush over the Romans. Now listen now, Romans chapter 8, verses 11. But if the spirit is speaking of the Holy Spirit now, but if the spirit of him that raised up Yahushua from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Yahushua from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you so now we see now yahushua is being raised by the holy spirit when on the shabbat now listen he was crucified wednesday three o'clock in the afternoon so wednesday night one night thursday one day thursday night two nights uh, uh friday uh, two days friday night three nights is shabbat the third day he must be raising he can't do it no other day. This is the day he entered rest. And we will also enter our own rest on the Shabbat. Mm -hmm. So that is, so, you know, celebrating this feast accordingly or accurately, this is how you've been remaking. If you are just navigating your way into a glorified body. That's what it means. That is why you must not do it the other way around. <coughs> that is why you must not do, do it through the philosophies of men. That is why you must not do it through the decept uh, de 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 deceptive way. No, you can't. You, you will get no benefit. Rather, you, you're you going to keep, you know, the serpent is going to be suffocating you. He's going to be torturing you. You're going to be, he's going to be putting himself in your hand to be slaughtering yourself by your own self. You're going to be destroying yourself by your own self. Just like that man, legions of demons possessed in Mark, Mark chapter 5, verses 1. In Mark chapter 5, you can read it. Okay. He can't do it no other way, no other day, or no other ways. Of course, it must be done accordingly. This is the pattern. Ecclesiastic 1 now. What has been done will be done again. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. Except for there is nothing new under this heaven. No new system. Only for you to dig it out and just live according to that. Now he said, if the Holy Spirit that raised Yahushua from the grave... Let's see you. He's also going to be doing that to you. That is simply rapture. So now we see you raise Yahushua from the grave already on the Shabbat. John chapter. This one will help somebody today. Will help one soul today. Hmm? John chapter 6. Verses 38 through 40. Let's see what Yahushua has for you and me over there. So I read. 38. And I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. 39. This is the Father's will which hath sent me, 
that of all which he had given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Number one, be counting, okay, two now. 40. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which say, which uh, sees the Son and believeth in, on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. He's talking about glorified body now, okay? Let's rush that to um, 44 now. 44. He's speaking on the last day for the resurrection, okay? No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent him, drawn him, sent, uh, sent me, drawn him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Only in one chapter, this is the third mouth. So we spread over now to 53, no, rather 54. Whosoever, whoso eats my flesh, drink my blood, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Come on now. It's communicating. He keep repeating it in one chapter four whole times. So which one is his body? Is the Old Testament like what I'm doing? This is how I'm eating his body and drinking his blood, because Passover begins right in where I quoted Exodus chapter twelve. Okay, so feeding my spirit now, and this is how it works. He's not teaching about cannibalism. He is teaching about the Old Testament, which is his body. Your shadow is your body. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 10. He said the Old Testament is a shadow of, it, of the better one to come. So, Yahushua is the Old Testament, and the Old Testament is, is, is Yahushua. His body is the Old Testament. His blood is the New Testament. He said we must eat his flesh, and we must drink his blood. That's it. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 10. 23 through 32 said he said you did not design the body of the Adonai and you just eat it unworthily and by so do you bring condemnation to yourself he said some of you sick and why some of you is sleeping sleeping me the uh, sleeping over there simply me death and the one that is sick simply me demon has overcome you has overpowered you make you now weak and that's what Easter means to you did they, did they not overpower you of course now did you know anything about Passover of course not you know Easter isn't it you know Christmas you know Sunday you know all this nonsense message from the belly of Semper now we see in four places he keeps saying it in the last day hmm? okay let's also do one more John 11 verses 24, we, we are speaking on the last day, okay, John chapter 11 verses 24 through 25, 24 now. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the last, uh, in okay, he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Yahshua said unto him, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believe in me, though he were dead, yet shall live, yet shall he live. I'm the one. So what is res resurrection? He said, I'm the one. I'm the one to do that. Holy Spirit raise him up. Yahshua is saying to you and me, he's the one to raise us up. So now when? And Martha, every one of us know that there is a resurrection at the last day. That was why Yahshua keep rephrasing it. Yahshua has already risen. He don't need no resurrection, but you and I do. So when is it going to be resurrected? You and I at the last day. Come on now, follow me down to the last day scriptures. Three whole nights must be completed. Three whole day. I've done that mystery, okay? I've done that. So let's do the finishing here. Now, the last day. Follow me down now to Genesis chapter 1, verses 5. Uh, where is it now? And Yahuwah called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And here we are, and the evening, okay, and the evening and the morning, we are the first day. Remember, we are dealing with the last, the last day. Now, verses 8. And Yahuwah called the firmament heavy, and the evening and the morning, we are the second day. Mm? Let's proceed. Verses 13. And the evening and the morning, we are the third day. Hmm? <laughs> 
Let's press it now to 19. And the EV and the money we are the fourth day. Okay, the four. Remember, we are speaking on the last day. We are the resurrection lines. 23 now. And the EV and the money we are the fifth a day. Hmm? 31. And Yehovah saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the money, we are the sixth day. <laughs> but now I know you know already, except if you are, I know you are not that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, chapter 2, now Genesis chapter 2, verses 1. Thus the heavy and the earth we have finished, and all the host of them too. And on the seventh day, and Yahweh ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from his work, which, ha which he had made. And Yahweh blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he rested from all his work, which he had made. So when is the last day? On the Shabbat. Very clean, simple as that. Do you even know? Do you need a revelation to break this down? Do you need time to process this? Of course, no. Very simple as ABC. The last day, Yahushua was raised today. Every other one that is that believe in him, that ate his body, drink his blood, definitely will also be raised. He himself is the one to raise you now on this last day. The last day, the last day. Is, Shabbat is the last day. Sim simply me enter rest eternal. Hmm? So come and give me scripture now. Whereby he said he died on Friday, now raised on Sunday. All four Gospels, all four Gospels, Matthew, John, Mark, look, make it so clear that he, 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 he that he raised on the, no, not on the Shabbat, he said early morning, first day of the week, the woman went there, they, they, it wasn't there anymore, very early morning, if we have to count the first day of the week, that should be six o'clock in the morning, but it wasn't there, past stairs. He has raised it. He has done it a few hours ago. Not on the Sunday, first day of the week. He did it on the Shabbat, third hour of the day, which is uh, nine hour of the day, which is three o'clock here. So maybe about, uh, a, um, if it has to be, okay, three o'clock, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 twelve. 18 hours. He has already risen 18 hours ago. He has risen. Past tense. All for gospel. When they say it was still dark. First day of the week. For it to be called first day of the week. It was already 6 o'clock in the morning. But yet it was still dark. He's risen. Past tense. They did see him risen from that early morning. So tomorrow you're going to be telling me nonsense. Anyway, let me be kind to you. Happy Easter. Did you see it? Happy Easter. Okay, not Easter. Easter is the English uh, name, meaning, but Easter in the Babylonian language simply means goddess of fertility. This very Easter woman they are celebrating, Samuel Mose. This is Tammuz. Happy Easter. I throw a salute. Pork. <laughs> Poco, 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 Jesus, poco, he let the pig, yeah, all right now, so, uh, we are done with that, okay, now, on the seventh day, okay, hey, quickly, oh, no, there's six scriptures here, <clears throat> the book of Yahshua, I'm not going to be reading it, chapter three and chapter six, now, the book of Yahshua, Enoch, the seventh from Adam, we know number seven is very powerful, is the, is the number of complement, Enoch, chapter uh, three, Enoch rapture on the Shabbat. And Enoch is serving for you and I that is also going to rapture <clears throat> in these last days. Enoch cannot taste death. He is the perfect. He is perfection. The Re Re Revelation chapter 11 verses whatever 3 said that the two witness is uh, Moses and Elijah. Elijah did not taste death. He's coming back to taste that. Okay. Because it's not the seventh. And they also, um, Moses, they are coming back again. We see their sign over there. But Enoch can never. is the perfection. is the perfect one. So he wrapped on the Shabbat. Now, the, um, uh, the book of Yahshua chapter 6. Noah entered the ark on the Shabbat, on the seventh day, but he walked closed the door. 
then judgment are gonna begin to beat against the entire world. Now, first John chapter four, verses one. You say Yahushua, it says if you say he did not come in the flesh, which means there's no you are the anti messiah. So if he come in the flesh, which means simply have a color, it was a map. Okay, our apostle, we will do this one next Shabbat. Our apostle, chapter 1, verses 8 through 12, he said he went ma, as a man into heaven and he's coming back in like man. He went back, he went into heaven as a black man, he's also coming back as a black man. Isaiah chapter 44, verses 28, Cyrus built the temple for Abaya Wow. While he was still in his mother or father loins, Abaya Wow prophesied about Cyrus and he was the king of uh, Persia. Okay, now the same again is as uh, Isaiah 50, 45, verses 1 through 5. Okay, Ezra chapter 1. He built the temple of Abba Yahuwah and put it is on the movement now. Yes, Abba Yahuwah is going to use that guy to do something powerful. We'll look more. We'll look.